from Schwab Digital, the maker of one of the best sounding clippers out there, the, at this point, ubiquitous gold clip. Now we have Orange Clip. Orange Clip is the faithful recreation of the infamous clipper found in FL Studio and abused by many producers out there. But that sound became undoubtedly a trend in modern music production and Orange Clip is not just a recreation, is mathematically identical. But Schwab Digital added a bunch of extra and new features that makes this one far superior and far more versatile. In this video, we're gonna see all of that. And also I'll tell you the differences between gold clip and orange clip. All of this approved by Cenobite. Why? Because he is orange. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for free plugin special offers, discounts, and of course, link to Schwab Digital Orange Clipper. Also check out Bella Kelly's new single, Goodbye, available on all platform and here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, check out the new website, mixbustv.com. In there you will find all the mix and mastering courses on many different genres, start to finish. You can also book all the other services in there, mixing, mastering, private lessons, mix consultations, and a lot more. And and if you want to access the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. All right, let me tell you a couple of things about the making of Orange Clip before going to the testing. Ryan is a buddy of mine and he told me how difficult and how long it took to recreate this clipper, which probably you wouldn't think it was the case because we are talking about a stock plugin that is over 25 years old and yet it wasn't an easy task. And in the manual, he goes a little bit into why it was so difficult, but in short, the way this clipper sounds is extremely unique. In fact, if you ever got sent tracks that were stemmed out uh, from FL Studio and you had to remix it, recreate the mix, you had noticed that you could get close to the crunch and those inflated low ends and those crushed top ends and the way he smoothed out the mid range but you could never really nail it exactly how it was on the stamps or exactly how it sounded in that dog. And this is because among other reasons of the wave shaping action that happens with that clipper and this clipper as well. I interchangeably use this and that clipper because I remind you, Orange Clip is not just similar, it's not just a recreation, it's mathematically identical. And Ryan made a point of making it this way because otherwise you could have gotten close with other tools, but never that exact sound. On Orange Clip, on top of this, we have extra features that makes it extremely versatile. And the GUI and the ease of use will most likely make this clipper one of your favorites right away, just like happened for me, just like happened for other engineers, friend of mine here in LA, shout out to Baines. So without further ado, let's take a look at the GUI and let's hear how this orange clip sounds. Here's our interface for orange clip. First of all, I really like the color scheme. I like that their interfaces are slick, simple, everything is in front of you, no sub menu. And this one really is as simple as it gets. You have one main knob, orange right here in the middle and this is responsible for the wave shaping characteristics the default value is a minus 4.4 db if you turn it clockwise you go into hard clipping and if you turn it counterclockwise you can see the knee becomes softer and it goes into soft clipping you will notice how this changes the aggression and the type of saturation the type of wave shaping inside orange clip and in turn the sound. Just like the original, the trick is to push signal into the clipper to get the saturation and of course the shaving of the transient effect to recover some headroom, especially good for transient material like drums of course, kick snare, percussions and so on. The first smart feature that we have is this link button here at the top which allows you to automatically compensate the output and you can see the sliders move at the same time in opposite directions so that 
you compensate for the level increase while you're clipping. In addition to this, we have a ceiling slider that lowers the ceiling point, so the clipping point, giving you the option to get that overblown and oversaturated sounds that we are used to hear in those type of productions. And then we have a dry wet slider, which in the same fashion, you can link the two sliders wet and dry, which otherwise could be left independent to inject a little bit of direct sound into the clipped signal or the other way around to inject a little bit of heavily distorted signal into your dry sound. You can solo these two by pressing these S buttons at the bottom. Top left, we have a clip indicator express in DB and also a peak indicator on top of the output slider. Super easy to use to shave off one DB or two on, again, single tracks or groups, auto compensate it, and it sounds great. To be completely honest, when Ryan told me this is what we're, they were doing next and, uh, and they were recreating FL Studio Clipper, I was like, all right, cool, it's another flavor. But that's because I never really work on FL Studio that much. And once I started using this one in my mixes, I was, this sounds good. This sounds really interesting. Now I understand better why people were kind of in love with this plugin and this type of saturation, how it handles the low end and it kind of smooths out the mid range and what it does to the top end is quite unique. And I gotta admit it, it's very, very musical. I love it. So I love it whether I'm using it in a transparent way or if I'm pushing it hard. So I guess it wasn't easy to make this, but it was totally worth it because I really, really love this plugin. Let's do a couple of tests and then later on in the video, I'll tell you how you should look at gold clip versus orange clip and what are the differences. I'm gonna start with a simple sine wave, which is often what you hear in 808s. All right, so it's that sound and you hear how the orange knob changes the type of distortion. It's actually a wave shaper, which is a clipper, which is a wave shaper. You can actually read an interesting uh, write up on this in the manual of orange clip. And of course, this is the type of sound that literally shaped many modern productions. The thing that I like particularly on this is the wet dry sliders. Check this out. You can blend this extremely low sound and you hear no phase weirdness, right? So we can clip the distorted part with the clean part, regain the clean low end, and then add the distorted and clipped sound to it. And that alone makes orange clip extremely versatile. Also, if we click on the gear icon here, you can see you have a real time quality. I'm using pristine. There's also an extra pristine, the offline quality, which is extra pristine by default. And then we have two types of processing. We have a minimum phase and a linear phase. This is self-explanatory, but I wanted this to show you because if you do any parallel processing with orange clip, then you want to use linear phase. Let's throw something a little more complex than a sine wave to orange clip, still in the same genre. I'm still going to show you the extra saturated sounds.
Okay, so it's exactly that sound. It's pretty cool. But enough with the, I want to say, off-label use and abuse of Orange Clip. I'm just going to run it the way I usually run it in my mixes since I had it. A little more conservative, but I want you to pay attention to the peak level, of course, because this is a new tool that does not sound like any other clipper out there that you can use to shave off a little bit of transient and gain a little bit of headroom. For that, we're gonna start with drums. Okay, if you notice the peak level, we are hitting minus uh, 0.6 now, and at these settings, I was hitting minus 14 and something with the clipper on, and we are not really losing the punch. Remember, the compensation, the automatic compensation will always give you the output level that is a little less than the dry signal. This is just the nature of the wave shaper, okay? And while there is, a slight tonal change that's the crazy part it, it sounds good there's only few clippers that do this like my personal favorite is transparent that's for the most part how i use clippers so i never really look for colors in clippers but this one immediately made my mixes because of this i want you to pay attention on how much different is the sound when you play with this This was crystal clear, right? So with the softening and the soft clipping, that smoothing of the top end and that taming of the mid range while kind of warming up the low end is more pronounced and we soften transients. Don't see the softening of the transient as a bad thing. Because if you think uh, a vocal that is too piercing or percussions, or many times I get loops sent in a song and then I have to mix and those are like particularly piercing and very harsh. This is a great tool if you want to smooth out those things. Even for electric guitar, so metal guys, this is actually a good tool. I tried it on a, a, my most recent mix that I'm still working on. I have this on guitars with a fairly smooth knee because I had a couple of guitar tracks that were like particularly harsh. So don't see the smoothing on the transient as a bad thing. It's just a different sound compared to the hard clipping that is usually for transient material because the audio event is very short so we don't perceive the distortion you can get away with hard clipping that's what is usually the most transparent type of clipping for drums and percussions it's either because the audio event is so short kick snare right that we can't perceive the distortion or it's so short that the distortion added it sounds like almost like an extra snap and it actually helps the perceived loudness i mean i i am the one who did the videos first on how saturation can be used in that way so if you follow the channel you know so what about a full mix i know gold clip is for that and after this example we're gonna talk about a little bit of the differences but you can totally use this clipper as well maybe in combination with gold clip i'm gonna grab this one which is pretty dynamic and has some like spikes for kick and snare and try on it
it punches and <laughs> of course again I am testing the limit so I'm going a little overboard and then coming back down but this is definitely a familiar sound And I'm exaggerating, I'm clipping. Over 60 B, okay? So I'm definitely <laughs> exaggerating. Let's throw actually gold clip on it and we do a quick comparison given the same amount of gain reduction. And I'm gonna tell you what's the best way to look at those two. Here they are one next to another. And the way even Ryan describes it, he would agree. Uh, gold clip is your big brain mastering clipper. Was designed to recreate a specific dynamic effect that complements your final master, your final limiting stage. And it comes obviously from an extremely famous and extremely expensive unit because the processing and the sound of it was modeled after that specific unit. So, so gold clip can be quite transparent, especially with the new updates. We have a flat box tone, but it's still meant to give you a specific sound, which is more suited for the mastering stage, although I use this one on groups. Orange Clip is designed to be more a production tool and a mixing tool, so single tracks, groups, parallel saturation, when you want that specific type of distortion that we are used to hear because songs made with the sound are on charts and have been on charts for uh, a, a good decade at this point, if not two. And we're gonna aim to clip about 3 dB, okay? We're gonna do the same here. Okay, even in this short example, you hear the top end difference between gold clip and orange clip, and I'm not touching the gold or the alchemy at this point. For me, it's not a one is better than the other. The orange clip has this muscle kind of in the low mid and low end it sounds beefy gold clip is more i think of pop music very shiny top end and extended band and extremely detailed all right so pick your tool but i think these two complement each other extremely well Ain't no sunshine on this side of I'm a danger, used to be homie, so I'm chased up hard working, not a sailor, just caked up, I made up my mind. Okay, so totally different sounds. I think this song was even more obvious. They both are great tools, but I want to try Orange Clip on a couple of more things before we call it a day. You make my heart break. This is your today, my babe. This is the bitter taste, my babe. Okay, 
<laughs> it's crazy. It sounds really good. It makes you want to push too much. That's <laughs> dangerous. But there's kind of a sweet spot here between minus one and minus two on the knee that it's kind of perfect for complex material. So not necessarily a full mix, although you can, maybe not 5dB plus like I'm doing, but it's kind of a sweet spot in there between the totally hard clipping and just a two, one or two notches towards the soft clipping that I really like. I really like that sweet spot. Couple of single tracks. I'm gonna try acoustic guitar. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this should be illegal. So hold on a second, hold on a second. So we are hitting without the, the clipper. And at this point I'm using it, I'm testing like the a shaving transient function of it. All right, minus 4.7 without the clipper on. Minus 10.5. We are just shaving off 60 B easy. Listen to how when I go into soft clipping, it kind of grunts in the low mid range and it, it's kind of cool. Schwab did a, an amazing job with this orange clip, like they did with the gold clip. But this is, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to like this one this much. And instead I am, and proof is in the potting. I, like I said, I'm not lying. I've been using this thing like four or five instances on different elements in my past mixes that I was doing in the past two weeks. It's a, it's really a surprise. Last one vocals because this video turned out to be super long. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, but vocals. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kinda godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice. Y'all some bottom feeders, theater clowns. It's robbing season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down. Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out. I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown. And I'm OG like Montana. I don't mean French or Henna, more like Tony from Havana. Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs, I got my Cody's with the handguns to puppet police if they act tough. Cause we got like four keys in the back of the OG. We roll deep, man, it go deep in the bang bus. We so street like old teeth and bandana, so please, y'all so weak, y'all like both knees on a grandma. Yeah, it's that sound and it, it's kind of crazy how he handles the top end and the high mid range because this, I want to almost say, could be an alternative to the essing on certain material because of how much it smooths out the top end when you push it this much, of course, and how it becomes grunty in the low end can also be an alternative to EQ if you want to beef up material. In all this, you have as a byproduct that you are eating a ton of transient nominal level, and so you have more headroom to do things. I think that's it. <laughs> Schwab Digital did a, an amazing job with Orange Clip. Thumbs up from me. I love this thing. And this is it for the video. I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have any questions, leave them there as well. Please check out Bella Kelly's new single, Goodbye, available on all platforms here on YouTube. Leave a comment, share it. It's much appreciated. If you haven't already, go check out the new website, MixWestTV.com for all the mix and mastering courses. If you want to see the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button, become a MixWestTV member. And if the videos are helping you, consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. 
See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up.